Hello everybody, so Kyle Thero here, welcome you back to another video of Mombazoo. In this video, we should get our project car all done, the second one. Um, and I'll show you why here. Let me go ahead and give Leo a little bit of love. We're going to be putting on a blue shirt today. And let's go ahead and get Leo all set up for the day as well. Let's see, where's his water? Here we go. And it is early in the morning. I'm hoping that I can... Uh, Get this knocked out and we could take the car into town for the first time. And I'll show you why I think we'll get it done today. As far as uh, having the matching bolts is concerned. It has been about a week or actually it's been about two or three days since I played. Or that I've been playing rather in the game. Go ahead and give him his treat. He just, you'd be in a lazy bum today. You don't want to get up. All right. And let's get him his food. Yep, there we go. All right, cool. He's taken care of. So I started um, going down this rabbit hole of taking non-blue lug nuts off of the blue car. And I found out I had a set of 12 of black ones on here. So I took them off too. So this car, even though it looks like it's all together right now, it is hanging on by... Not much. As you can see, it just dumped itself because I think the suspension fell out from back. Oh, no. Maybe it's still in. Either way, it is not drivable right now. Not just because of the seats, but for the pure fact that there's not much bolted together. The engine bay is pretty much the only thing because it had blue bolts all in it already. And then the hood in the trunk as well. So that's why that's sitting here. So here's all the black bolts that I pulled off of this thing. And we're going to put them on this car. If we can finish this car which I am going to go ahead and get started on. Let me see here. Yep, that was already done. Uh, if we get this car finished, the only thing it's missing is the taillights. We'll drive into town to buy some taillights. Actually, no, the shop I think is closed today. Ah, oh, we might not be doing that. So we're gonna go ahead and start putting this, whoops, this uh, wheel and tire on. So we can finish up the wheels and tires on this thing. If you recall from the last video, we had everything done as far as the mechanics are concerned and underneath the car as well. That's all done. Um, oh yeah, that's right. I already put the bolt in there. So this should be the last little bit we have to do mechanically. Just be in this wheel and everything else should be taken care of. Which it looks like it might be. Let me get on the... I noticed that on the blue car, I've been rolling around missing a bolt on the transmission this entire time. So I kind of want to check that while I'm, while this one's up in the air. It's actually easier to see when you're, um, the car's on the ground, but it looks like it's not an issue on this car. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that. Throw our wrench down. Let's go ahead and start throwing some parts on it here. We're going to throw this on. I'm going to throw this on. Hopefully I can open it up without it falling off yet. Like I said, I think I will have enough to put the rest of this car together today. I'll put the passenger seat in, the driver's seat in. Let's get the hood on. I have to pop the hood so we can bolt it down. Front bumper on, put the grill on. Fender needs to go on. Oh, and then I did notice that I was missing a lug nut on the rear tire back here. So I took it from the steering wheel just to finish that up. So I didn't have to remember that I needed to put one back there. So let's get this headlight on. Get this headlight on. Oh, I don't know why I chucked this fender back here. Here we go. It's the back seat. I'll get that in. All right. We just got to throw the doors on. And I think that's everything for this car. Whoops. There we go. So everything's on the car right now that I have. The only thing I'm missing is tail lights, like I said. This is our uh, junk pile. This is all the uh, color bolts and the rusted bolts from this car that I still had. So let's go ahead and start putting the uh, final touches on the red car here. So we're going to bolt down the hood. I'm going to try to use these uh, loose ones. Whoops. These loose bolts first that are not in a case, just so that way... And I need to work on stuff under the car or, well, not under the car, but inside the car. I could just, uh, I could just bring a case over with me. It makes it easier to transport instead of running back and forth for one bolt at a time. 
Ah, oh, come on. There we go. And then for the blue car, all of the parts are on this side of the garage that are uh, taken off right now. Um, that's acting like there's something down here still. Hmm. I think there might be a bolt missing under the hood, like near the engine bay. Kind of. Yep. There it is. It keeps snapping at it. Oh, it's this. What is that for? What mounts there? Huh. Interesting. I don't know what that's for. That's uh, that's a new one for me. Just a random bolt that goes in place there. Maybe it's for like a uh, different kind of intercooler pipe setup or like an intake setup or something like that. Cool. So we have this all done. There we go. We're just making our way around the car. Like I said before, I originally did not intend for this to be a multi-video uh, project where I was putting this entire car together, but I didn't want to bore you guys with like an hour long video or two hour long. And then I didn't want to keep my recorder going constantly while I'm trying to uh, buy all the parts. I was just like, yeah, I kind of got defeated after a while. I was like, yeah, we're done. All right, let's put this down. Oh, I need to grab that again. Whoops. Whoops. I keep running into the engine base. There we go. I might have bought extra bolts, and if I did, I don't care. Like, it's fine. I'm sure there'll be updates that come out where I'll have to replace bolts anyways. And if that's not the case, I mean, it's always good to have extra just in case uh, you need it for something else. Kind of how I took it, the approach with the uh, blue car. I just kept buying, like every time I bought black bolts, I was like, okay, let's buy some blue ones too. So that way everything's done and ready to go. Let's get the steering wheel. And then I did get the shift knob in. I don't know what I did, but I was able to finally get it to break loose and let me um, install the shifter in there. Throw this on this side, and we're going to take these back with us. So I think I got the trunk and the wing. And, oh, I did forget the uh, driver's seat. I'm going to have to uh, put the seats in as well, bolt them in. see here all right that's done all right so the trunk of the vehicle is done i just need i think it's two i think you need two let me yeah i don't have any that are sitting out some blue ones i think it's two there and two there so i actually have one two three okay i guess i'm not taking these with me to that side. We'll just take these and then, yeah, we're gonna jump over the door like that. <laughs> and then let's grab this bolt and we'll get the driver's seat put in. Actually, I wonder if this thing could start up without the seats being mounted. Let me see. It's got power. Oh, it runs. Nice. Can't sit in it yet, but it does start up. That's cool. Should I do the, you know what, for science, let's do it. See if this one starts up with all the parts, like, not bolted in. Yeah, that's not going to work. I don't have the ECU in, though, too. So, like, the, it, that might be the reason why it won't start. Besides the fact that nothing else is bolted in. Like, the suspension is nothing on that car at all. Oops, went to grab another one. There we go. All right, that seat is in. I need one, two, three, four. Okay. 
Yeah, I think I'm going to have enough. And then I'll take this case with me because I'll have enough in it to do the tail lights that they are really. Oh. Yeah, I will. Because I'm going to do this too. I forgot this door. Let's get the door. And then the ECU is in this thing. Yep. And it's bolted in. It's good to go. Oh, I didn't bolt in the front bumper though. I just remembered that too. Did miss this. So this car should be good to go. It's just missing the tail lights, which again, that's fine. I'm going to take the jack stands off. We're going to put them under this car. Because now this car is going to need some work. Ooh, that sucker just dumped on that side. All right, first time it's been on the ground under its own uh, four tires there. Good to go. I think they got air of them, so they're pretty good. I need to buy the wheels and tires for this car still. Um, let's go ahead and shut the door, or the hood rather. There we go. And let's hop in and see how we feel in here. Looking pretty good. Man, that thing runs fast. I did do a little tuning to the uh, ECU. I just maxed it out, so we'll see how it does. Um, we don't have that much gas, so maybe we'll make a trip into town here and just get gas. Close our garage. And I do have traction control turned on too. That's why you can see the light on the dash. I'm hoping that it keeps me from spinning out. Wow, this is a lot faster. We're off the road. Damn. And that's how that starts. <laughs> Luckily, we didn't pitch it into the water. Yeah, that's why I can't drive fast things. I end up crashing them in this game. I thought the traction control was going to hold me more, but it doesn't feel like it still trying to get away from me like the blue car would on street races. If I shift up, it's not a problem. Alright, let's kill the car and get out. So, yeah, not too shabby with the uh, the new car. Okay, Visit with them, okay, say what's okay. up. Some maple syrup in us. I'm sure it's not legal to drive with no taillights, but I think we're going to be okay since it's not dark out. My anxiety is through the roof right now because of all the crashing I've been doing. Man, this thing was empty. Holy cow, this is taking forever to fill. That's definitely a lot of gas to be out of. All right. Cap back on. Got a full tank of gas again. Go pick up some food. And then we'll head home. So there is a grill laying around somewhere. Is that it right there? Oh, we lucked out. I left it in the driveway and didn't even see it. No, 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 not into the ditch again. There we go. All right. Let's uh, kill the car real quick, and we're going to see where that grill goes, or how you mount this grill. There we go. So it's pretty cool that this is all nice and done now. We don't have to worry about it anymore. Oh, right there. Forgot two of the bolts. I'm an idiot. There it is right there. We literally only have one black bolt left, which, I mean, it is what it is. We'll have a bunch of extra ones here when it's all said and done. Oh, I have two. Never mind. Okay, well, I'll put these over here. I'll probably end up not using them. I don't know. Oh, why am I shake? Oh, you know what? That's an interesting feature. Let me see something real quick. My guy is shaking, I think, from the anxiety. Yeah, look at that. Huh. Never noticed that before. That's pretty cool. 
pet Leo a bit. And we're going to go ahead and save our game here just to get the anxiety down. But yeah, I, I was taking apart the bolts on the blue one. And after it was all said and done, I was like, I'm not really going to do anything. Like, I don't want to strip this car completely down and then just put it all back together again when it's, I'm not changing much on it other than the wheels and tires. So if you guys said that you wanted to see me do that, I'm probably not going to record it, to be honest. It doesn't make any sense to the car's already been. I mean, you're probably not going to be able to tell, but the car's already been repainted. Wow. I left the car on, too. That wasn't good for the battery just sitting there. It's already been repainted. I just put some gloss and metallic on the parts and I might take some of the parts out underneath it that I want to paint. Like, I think this is one of them right here. Yeah. Cause I want to definitely repaint. Well, not repaint, but paint some of these parts that you normally wouldn't be able to paint. And then like mechanically wise, like this is the old bumper that was on it and it's just sitting over here. And it says it's unique just because it's the original one. I'm probably going to stick with this hood. It's just kind of unique and different. I'm not too sure yet, though. I might end up just going with this one instead. And the trunk is going to stay the way it is. Like, I'm just going to keep this here. And then I have taillights for it already, which it says they're paintable, but you can't really. I'll show you. Because I saw this with the red one. Like, you paint it. I mean, they kind of change colors. In the case of these, they actually do. The red ones didn't really change in color. But if that's the case with that, I'm going to actually put that down. And I'm going to paint these black. I want to black these out. I guess we could do that real quick. There we go. Okay, so they're all painted up. That's actually pretty cool. That was the look I was trying to go for with the... Um, the red one, and I guess I did in a way because it's got the ambers with the black shadowed interior of it. So I guess it did work to some extent. And this is all put together so we can close that. So now my grill's mounted on. It won't fly off when uh when we're driving down the road. I, I'm an idiot. I did not remember to put that stuff together at all. But uh, anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this episode of Mamba Zoo. Let me know down in the comments below what you thought. Um, I might do another video of Mamba Zoo here. We'll see. But, um, to be honest, I don't know what we're going to do other than maybe go take this thing to the track and see how it does. But it's the same car. It's just in red. That's all. So I'm not too sure if I want to do that or not. And if I do, I, I mean, I don't know what we're going to do. Like we might take it to the street races, but at least until an update comes out if another update comes out and then there's new stuff then obviously i'll uh record that and let you guys check that out as well there are a lot of you that like this series but uh, anyways guys thanks again for watching let me know again down in the comments below what you thought and until next time take care